We're good. Hey everybody, Josh Brown here, Managing Editor with Carmel Magazine. We're hanging out today at the Carmel Clay Historical Society with Executive Director Emily Ergot. Emily, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So we were chatting, um, obviously the Monon Boulevard construction is going on. It's kind of <laughs> been really long, one. Mm -hmm. um, kind of torn things up a little bit, but um, through this you guys have found some interesting things lately, mainly from the workers. So just give us a little background on some of the things you guys have found or, or have started to find that the workers have brought uh, from the railroad. Sure. Well, when they first started um, digging, I was able to kind of be out there and be in the middle of it. They right. allowed me kind of all access. Um, so as they were scooping with the excavator, I was right in front of them checking to see if there was anything in there. We found um, some bottles, but most of the time the construction workers just come to the door Knock, knock. And, um, or if you're not here, they just leave it on the porch. They leave it on the porch, <laughs> or they usually come in and say, hey, we found something, and they're so good, sometimes they don't even disturb it from where it's at. So they allow right. me to kind of come and look at it, and I'm like, great. And I was able to um, grab it out. Yeah. Um, this was one of the first items that they brought. Okay. Um, it's a great representation of, um, you know, basically a clay jug. Um, there could have been multiple things in this. Um, I doubt it was something that someone just filled up and drank out of. It was probably right. something that someone bought with the liquid inside of it. Okay. So either it was medicine yeah. or something like that, but it is a pottery item. And this, um, these were popular because uh, glass was, you know, it was new. Um, yeah. Pottery was old. So sure. um, we also get a lot of, a Train, yeah, a lot of railroad yeah. things. Um, Let's see if I can show people here, maybe hold up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It's a um, lot of old railroad spikes. A lot of old railroad spikes, and I know if you're new to Carmel, the Monon Trail that you ride your bike on and walk on um, was actually a train, um, where they were train tracks. Right. And the train came through uh, up until the early 80s I believe okay. um, the Monon Depot opened in 1883 so that's a hundred years Long time of, ago. of people riding the train the train um, uh -huh. went from Louisville to Chicago okay. um, your typical trip to Chicago from Carmel was about eight hours the train Ooh. went about 32 miles an hour oh boy um, but that's a it slow was, trip <laughs> yeah it was beautiful Indiana um, for farm fields that you probably got to watch the whole time but um, this was a popular area. If you were in Carmel and needed to get anywhere, you came to the depot. And so right. there was a lot of people that were here. We have found large items. Um, that's a big bottle. And it's. And we were talking about this. It, it's It's pretty wild that some of these bottles are completely intact yeah, for the most part. They're exactly. not even broke. And you can see, like, this was literally, like, pulled out of the dirt. So I will be washing all this stuff off as it goes. Right. This is pretty old. It is not a screw top. So okay. this would have been a cork type of item. Um, it could have been... Maybe some whiskey? It probably <laughs> was some sort of alcohol. Um, a lot of times they weren't in this large. Those are, I think, more current okay. size bottles. Um, this could have been a multitude of liquids. I did find one bottle that did say alcohol on the bottom really? of it. So you knew that you wasn't a medicine some. bottle. It was an alcohol <laughs> bottle. Um, we've got a couple more of the medicine bottles that right. we have found. And these you can really tell they look like medicine bottles. They do look like medicine bottles. Again, there's no um, teeth on the, on the top. So right. you know that these were corked items, um, which dates them. And these are, again, not broken. Yeah. Not even just chipped. Just a little dirty. Yeah. So the construction guys have been pretty good about um, trying to be careful a little bit. Not We've got it. another bottle. This was a dark bottle. This probably was a medicine okay. um, because of the dark glass. Right. A lot of times light um, had something to do with it. The ones that are stamped, we're going to try and look to see if we can find out what they were. Um, okay. Again, exact a date, corked item. Maybe. Yeah, so okay. this was an older item. The, this was just two weeks ago. We found... Um, completely intact too. Completely intact. Piece of um, the train probably. Probably a headlight cover right. or something like that. It's still got some of the mirrored paint right. on the inside. So it was something. We're just not sure what part it went to. Sure. Um, and then staying on that train thought. Probably um, one of the more interesting pieces. Yeah, these are pretty cool. So we actually had a friend of the... Um, 
Historical Society do some metal detecting and she was able to find these, I think they're called or something similar, cat eye reflectors. And so these were reflectors that would have been on a railroad sign. Right. Um, it would have notified from a long distance the train um, with his headlight on that there was a crossing ahead or something like that. And, um, you know, trains don't stop on a dime. Right. So they, he needed all the heads up. He, yep, sure. he needed all the heads up he could get. And these, so these little guys would just reflect and let them know they were coming up to a cross. You've ever seen a cat or an animal at night? Right. You can see their eyes. Right. Very first thing you see is their sure. eyes. So these kind of... Same um, kind of effect. Same effect. Yeah. They were able to do that. Very cool. Um, along with being in the depot, uh, we did find some cool... Some really cool signs. Enamel signs. <laughs> uh, American yeah. Express. American Express, Traveler's Checks. You know, people went to the depot to do things like that, do business, and, right. and send money, and receive money. and It wasn't always just the bank. It was not the, always the bank. Um, so this is something that probably would have hung around the, um, or inside the, the depot, outside, the depot. outside yeah. something, so that people knew if they were coming, if they were in Louisville, and were got off in Carmel, they knew, oh, I could send money back home, right. something to notify them of that. Cool. Um, and then if you've been around Carmel for any period of time, you know that this corridor here where the depot is, was um, kind of the industrial area. Right. So this is a Atlas cement um, sign. I think I have some um, Atlas cement bags that really? I have found here and there. Wow. So, um, so they're a big, a big cement company. Back. Yeah, they were, okay. they were, um, that was a popular item. Well, and then outside, you were showing me as we walked around, mm -hmm. um, and we thought about doing some video outside. The construction is just a little too loud. Yeah. It's a little too crazy right now. They're not on lunch break yet. Um, but Emily was showing me, obviously, more railroad spikes and things like that. Uh, a cast iron skillet, you guys A found. cast iron skillet kind was of in random. the ground. Yeah. You just never know, I guess, if they if it... It stood the test, though. Yeah, it's intact. It's intact. It's a little bent up, um, and that was probably from the construction. Right. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, a lot of times, you know, there wasn't regular trash pickup like there is now. So if right. something, if they didn't want something anymore, they yeah. kind of dug a hole and put it in. <laughs> just left it. Yeah, and just left it. That's crazy. Well, one of the things we saw outside, too, that we think, um, you're trying to kind of figure out, but it looks like maybe half of a railroad wheel. Yeah. Uh, maybe that had fallen off during a, a crash back in, I think you mentioned the 50s, The maybe? 50s, there was a train derailment that okay. was just um, south of us. So I'm not sure where the construction guys found it. It was just at the door. I feel like... One of those that they just Yeah, left. <laughs> I feel like they just kind of, um, you know, they're proud of, you know, their findings. They just bring it and drop right. it at the door. So um, that was something, and that is probably something, you know, back then they just didn't clean up sites, right. maybe like they... Did, you know, and that was just kind of left and uncovered when they've been digging up um, for the boulevard. Sure. So. Awesome. So you guys have found some, some really interesting stuff. Um, what's the next steps? Obviously, you're in the process of doing some restoration with these things. Maybe a possible exhibit for people to see in the spring we, of these things? We would love to, after we get these things kind of cleaned up and some of them identified, we would love to be able to have a small little exhibit of just some of the items we found and any history we know about them. Right. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of look up the item and see if we can date it or maybe um, discover what was inside of the bottles right. or something like that. Right now the depot is closed because of the construction. We sure. were trying to stay open but as you can tough. tell, yeah. almost today, went to the wrong building. So. You went to the wrong <laughs> building, and you literally had to walk around right, the construction, right, right next it. to yeah. um, some large equipment. So we've decided that it's probably not a place for visitors right now. Sure. So, um, but maybe something for people to look for next spring. In the spring, okay. we will have that stuff posted on our website and Facebook page. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Some pretty interesting stuff around here at the Carmel uh, Clay Historical Society. Uh, some good coming out of this crazy construction yeah. that's going on right now. Uh, we appreciate Emily taking some time to chat with us today. Absolutely. Thank you. And uh, look out for this story soon in our uh, next issue of Carmel Magazine. Thanks for joining us, guys.